Hello guys, welcome back to All About Fire Protection channel. In this video, I am going to teach you the easiest way of calculating the voltage drop for fire alarm system. But before we begin, I'd like you to hit the subscribe button, which you still didn't do, and hit the notification bell so you will be updated of our latest video. Here is the recap of the previous topic that we discussed. There are 8 steps we need to follow in order for us to prepare the voltage drop calculation. One is determine how many mic circuits in a design or the notification appliance circuits. Second one is determine how many audible visual device per, per NAC or notification appliance circuit. The third one is measure the point-to-point -point distances starting from the fire alarm control panel. Fourth, determine the alarm current of audible and visual device. Fifth, check the cable resistance per 1000 meter as per the data sheet. Sixth, check the operating voltage of audible and visual device as per data sheet. Seven, based on the item one to six, you can now prepare a table and calculate for voltage drop. And the last one, you can now compare the calculated net voltage from operating voltage of audible and visual device. What is voltage drop? It's important to know the basics and fundamentals of electricity so you can start working with the calculation of voltage drop. Voltage drop is the reduction in the amount of electrical potential within the electrical path where current is flowing. As you will see in the example illustration, the 24 volts power source is supposed to deliver this amount of voltage to the fire alarm port strobe. But because of the voltage drop of 1 volt within the conductor, the horn strobe receives only 23 volts. So let us proceed now with the basics of electricity. By Ohm's law, the amount of voltage can be measured by knowing the current and resistance in an electrical circuit. In the illustration, the formula for voltage is the product of electrical current and resistance. The unit of the voltage is volt and ampere for current and ohms for resistance. There are two types of electrical circuit and the other one is combination of two. They are series, parallel, and series parallel circuit. In series circuit, the total voltage can be calculated by adding the voltage across the resistances while the current is the same in one flow as illustrated here. In parallel circuit, the voltage is the same across the resistances while the total current can be calculated by adding each current as illustrated here. And now for series parallel circuit, the total current can be calculated by adding each current while the total voltage can be done by adding the voltage from conductor internal resistance and either B1 or B2, which is equal. If the electrical circuit is ideal or if the voltage drop from the conductor is negligible, then from the illustration, you will observe that the 24 volts from the supply is fully received by the fire alarm horn strobe. While the, if the voltage drop is zero, the current flowing is the same in zero circuit. But in real scenario as shown in the illustration, some of the current is consumed by the conductor internal resistance, which results in voltage drop. You will notice that only 23 volts is now received by the fire alarm horn strobe from the voltage source because of one volt voltage drop from the cable internal resistance. Now here is another real scenario from the fire alarm installation. In this illustration, there are two number of horn strobe connected from the voltage source. To calculate the, for the voltage drop, the type of the circuit to be considered is series parallel. Horn strobes are connected mainly in parallel 
while the cable resistance is in series prior to the device. You will notice that the voltage received from the first device is reduced to 23 volts due to the voltage drop from the first cable run and then reduced again from 23 volts to 22 volts received from another device because of the second cable run. Now that we have refreshed ourselves with the basics of electricity, we are now ready to prepare the table for the calculation of voltage drop. By getting all the information we need in step 1 to 6, as discussed earlier, we can finally calculate the voltage drop. I prepared the sample of fire alarm design for this tutorial. The type of the occupancy is mixed occupancy. The building is residential G plus 1 floor with a retail unit at ground level. The design has four numbers of NAC or notification appliance circuit to cover the whole building. With instruction in step 1 to 6, which I discussed earlier, the details are summarized in table for NAC 1 and NAC 4 as an example. NAC 2 to NAC 3 can be calculated as well in the same procedure. Let us study now the table for NAC 1. In the first row, the information is extracted from the first device as the starting point. The cable distance from the parallel control panel as the point of origin to the first device is measured with a value of 3.6 meters. Referring to the data sheet of the cable, the resistance per 1000 meter is 7.41 as an example. With this information, a value of 0 0.03 ohms is calculated. Now for the current, the total current of fire alarm horn strobe, which is 1.274, shall be used, which results to a voltage drop of 0 0.038 volts using the ohms law. For the next row, which is for the second device, the distance from the first device to the second device is measured. With the same data sheet of cable, a value of 0 0.10 ohms is calculated. For the current, the current to be used can be calculated by deducting the current of first device from the total current, which results to a value of 1.092 ampere and 0 0.109 volts voltage drop using Ohm's law. The procedure will be repeated until the voltage drop for the last device is calculated. You will notice in the summary from table of NAC1 and NAC4, the lowest net voltage from the voltage drop is only 23.66 and 23.77 volts. By comparing this value with the operating voltage of the fire alarm horn swab in data sheet, if it's less than the operating range, then the design is pass or in compliance with the manufacturer's recommendation. And that's how we calculate the voltage drop. I hope that you find this video helpful. If you want more video tutorials related to the fire protection, please comment down below or you may send messages personally to my official Facebook or other account, which I also included in the description below. Thanks for watching.